Cheat Code, Support Strategist, by My Head in the Clouds Not Coming Down, read by Rat Overlord. Chapter 8, Friends. Bakugo finds out that Isuku got into Yue. Bakugo Katsuki and Izuku Midoriya, please report to the principal's office. Bakugo Katsuki and Izuku Midoriya. Isuku froze in his seat as the classroom exploded in whispers at the announcement. He hesitantly looked at Kachan, but whipped his head down to look at the floor the second he saw the death glare that Kachan was leveling him with. Why were they being called down to the office? And together? What was this about? No, it couldn't be about the teasing. They'd never done anything about it before, so there wasn't any reason for them to do something now especially now that Kachan had gotten into Yue's hero course. So that meant that Izuku was probably in trouble for something. But what? And why would Kachan have to come too? Izuku gathered his things and walked out into the hall, careful to keep a few steps behind Kachan so he didn't think Izuku was trying to get ahead of him. Unfortunately, his efforts to not make Kachan angry were in vain, because as soon as they turned the corner, Izuku found himself being slammed against the wall. What is this about Deku? Is- Kachan growled. What did you do? I-, I-, I don't know, I swear. Izuku held his bag securely against his chest so Kachan couldn't grab it, his eyes flicking down to the smoke billowing from his hands. Uh, let's just go. We probably shouldn't keep the principal waiting. Kachan clicked his tongue dismissively, but released his hold on Izuku and kept walking towards the principal's office. Izuku took a deep breath to steady himself before hurrying after him, leaving a larger gap between them this time so he'd have a bit more warning if Kachan decided to confront him again. When they got to the office, Kachan knocked on the door and shot a warning glare back at Izuku before the door swung open. Principal was a man who really seemed too young to be balding, but that didn't stop him. Isuku had been to his office a few times in the past, none of which had necessarily been pleasant, so the smile on the principal's face didn't do anything to put him at ease. In fact, it made the whole thing more unsettling, because Isuku honestly couldn't think of a single reason why he'd be called down to the office if he wasn't in trouble. I just wanted to be the first person from our school to congratulate both of you, the principal said. I simply can't believe we have not one, but two students from our school that will be attending UA. And to think one of them is Midoriya. It's honestly a miracle. Isuka gulped as he felt the heat of Kachan's glare at him. Or maybe it was literal heat. Had Kachan activated his quirk? He wouldn't do that in the principal's office, would he? Would the principal let him get away with it? He didn't know why he'd assumed he'd be so lucky enough to not have anyone at his middle school know he'd made it into Yue. It had been so nice these past months, with nobody knowing about his new dream, but of course Aldera had to have been sent their exam results. He'd been even more of an idiot for somehow not preparing for the eventuality of Kachan finding out. They were going to be attending the same high school, they'd run into each other eventually, and even if they were in different courses. Well, there was nothing he could really do about any of that now. Isuku forced a shaky smile onto his face. Thank you, sir. I hope we'll make you proud. The principal nodded and gestured for them to leave. Isuku stood awkwardly for a second, waiting for Kachan to leave first, but he just kept glaring at him until Izuku finally gave in and scurried towards the door. He just wanted to go back to class and pretend that the principal hadn't known exactly what he was doing by calling both of them into the office at the same time. He wanted to pretend that his new dream was still safe. He wanted to pretend that Kachan was like Mei and was excited that they'd be going to the same school rather than enraged. Instead, reality grabbed him roughly by the arm and dragged him outside, taking him straight to the alcove behind the lockers that didn't have any cameras. At this time of day, even if Kachan let loose explosions, no one would be on the other side to hear them, which also meant that no one would be around to hear Izuku's screams. Not that they'd help if they did hear, but it was the principle of the thing. Isuku couldn't hold back a sharp cry as he was shoved against the wall for the second time in ten minutes. 
Kachan glared down at him, and this time, Isuku just knew that the heat wasn't just from the glare, as he felt the skin on his chest blistering where Kachan's hand was holding his shirt. I thought you'd given up on being a hero, nerd! Isuku trembled as he realized he'd never actually seen Kachan this angry before. This... this was bad. Even worse than usual. What would happen if Kachan killed him? Would they give his place at Yue to someone else? Would Mei find someone else to make inventions with? Would anyone even notice if he was gone? Bet you've had a great time laughing behind my back these couple of months, haven't you? Kachan sneered. Pretending to give up when really you were lying to us the whole time? How'd you even pass the exam, you damn nerd? I... Isuku hissed in pain as Kachan let loose an explosion to his chest. I was supposed to be the first and only student from this crappy school to make it into UA, and you just had to go and ruin it! Kachan yelled. Well, I hope your fun was worth it, because it's over, Deku. I don't care if you somehow cheat and make it into UA. You're not going to be a hero! I'm in the support course, Kachan, Isuku yelled. He was trembling from the pain, the anxiety, and how the emotional exertion it took to yell at his oldest friend. I didn't lie to you, Katsuki. I gave up on being a hero months ago. I didn't even try to get into the hero course like you did. So don't get angry at me for chasing a dream that doesn't even affect you. He grabbed the arm that was holding him against the wall and shoved it away, then ran as fast as he possibly could to get away from the school. He'd undoubtedly get in trouble for skipping classes, but they wouldn't risk suspending or punishing him too drastically now that he'd be attending UA. They wanted the positive attention too badly for something like that. Maybe that's why they let Katsuki get away with everything that they did, because he was the student with the greatest chance of making it big. Isuku could hardly see through the tears as he ran home on autopilot, shooting a text to Mei for her to call him when she had a minute. He didn't know what he'd say if she called. He just... There were too many emotions for him to process alone. Thankfully, Mom was at work, so he didn't have to worry about her seeing him barge through the door with tears running down his face as he went straight to the bathroom to bandage the ugly burn on his chest. To his surprise, Isuku's phone rang just as he was about to take off his uniform. He looked at the screen to see Mei's name on the caller ID. Shouldn't you be in class right now? I told the teacher that I accidentally added an unstable component to my cell phone battery and it was going to explode if I didn't answer a call right away, Mei said. I've actually done that before, so they didn't question it. it you've actually blown up your phone by accident? Isuku asked numbly. It wasn't a very large explosion, May dismissed. But what's going on? Your text sounded really upset, and now your voice is doing that weird choky thing that it does when you've been crying. Isuku tried to hold back a sob, but it tore itself out of his chest anyway. Everyone at school found out I'm going to Yue. There was a beat of silence at the other end. Isn't that a good thing? Shouldn't they be happy for you? N no. You don't understand. I'm quirkless, Isuku yelled, then immediately felt like a bucket of ice water had been dumped over his head as he realized what he just said. He hadn't meant for her to know that. He hadn't, and he'd been looking forward to having a friend. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just let you go. You don't need to leave class, and you don't have to call me ever again. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh! Oh, Isuku Hacker Midoriya, don't you dare hang up on me! Isuku stopped with his thumb halfway to the end call button. Did you, did, did you just use Hacker as my middle name? Well, I don't know your real one, and I needed a placeholder to get the full effect, May explained. So, Izuku Hacker Midoriya, don't you dare think that I'm going to abandon all of the amazing babies we're going to make together just because you have some extra toe joint or whatever. I know for a fact that you're smarter than that, so I don't want to hear it. Izuku's jaw dropped, and he gaped at his reflection in the mirror. I... Uh, what? You... You're, you're still talking to me. Obviously, May huffed. So did one of your bullies get mad because you made it in? 
Isuku put his phone on speaker so he could focus on treating his burn. I don't know if bully's the right word. We used to be best friends, so it sounds so wrong to call him anything other than that. But, well, we haven't really hung out since my quirk didn't come in, and... That was ten years ago, is Izukun, May said bluntly. What? That was ten years ago, May repeated. If you haven't hung out in ten years, you're not still friends. Did he hurt you? Isuku hissed in pain as his shirt pulled away from the burned skin. Today? May made a little exasperated noise. Ever! Um. Isuku looked at the angry red burn in the mirror. Define hurt. May groaned. Ugh, for someone who is so smart, you really are an idiot. Are you in pain right now? If I say no, are you going to believe me? Not a chance in hell, Izukun. Izuku grimaced. Then yes. May sighed. I'm gonna kill him. He did that just because you got into UA and he didn't? Oh, no. He got in too. Isuku ran a washcloth under cold water. He's in the hero course. That's part of why he's angry. They let your bully into the hero course? May yelled so loudly that the audio on the phone crackled. Like I said, bully isn't really the right word. Just because you were friends once doesn't mean he's not a bully, Izukun, May said, then continued more quietly. It also doesn't mean you deserve it. Izuku's hands stuttered to stop from where he'd been gently patting the washcloth to his chest. What? You don't deserve the way he treats you, Izukun, May said. What's his excuse? That you don't have a quirk? Not your fault! Try again! Um, Izuku thought for a moment. Until about half a year ago, I still wanted to be a hero despite that. Not a crime, May said. Tons of kids want to be heroes! Try again! Isuku was starting to smile in spite of himself. I kept complimenting his quirk, which he somehow interpreted as me thinking I was better than him. I'm not even going to try. This guy's an idiot. Next! Isuku laughed. Um, uh, uh, I kept following him around like a lost puppy. Anyone would be lucky to have your brilliant mind behind them, May said. Any other complaints? Isuku hesitated. He knew it'd probably make May laugh, but it almost felt blasphemous to say. He's a dick? Ding, ding, ding! May cackled. We have a winner! For real, though, Isuku. That guy is a jerk, and if he ever comes to me for babies, I'll... Uh, I'll... Isuku wasn't sure he exactly wanted to know. You'll what? I'll use cheap materials! May blurted. No, I can't do that. My babies deserve only the best. Ugh, I'll figure it out. But it won't be pretty. Isuku laughed. Thanks, May. That means a lot. So, are you feeling any better? Isuku shrugged as he spread burn cream on his chest. It was definitely going to scar. I don't know. I just wish he hadn't taken it so personally, you know? I wasn't even trying to get into the hero course. Isuku's sadness had slowly been pushed away by May's enthusiasm, and it was quickly being replaced by something he wasn't used to letting himself feel. Anger. Couldn't he just have let me have this one thing without ruining it? Isuku rented. I mean, he already made sure I knew my last dream was a big fat pile of nothing, so couldn't he just be happy with that? No! He has to ruin my new one, too! Then don't let him, May said. It's your dream, not his, so that bully doesn't get to say anything. You're going to be an amazing support analyst, izuku and he can't do a thing about it. Izuku finished wrapping the bandages around his chest and grabbed the phone as he headed to his room to pick out a shirt. I don't know. It feels like he can. I know, May said. But hey, now you have me, and we're friends. And I'm not going to let you give up. 
We're going to take you away by storm, and that guy's going to regret ever hurting you, okay? Isuku chuckled. Okay. Good, May said resolutely. Now, did you find anything else about that jet quirk from the exam? My hoverboot babies are having problems staying in the air.